my ancestors have me here to expose the toxic masculine. But my ancestors have me here to show y'all the difference because clearly a lot of y'all bot asses can't even fucking comprehend. You don't see what's going on. You literally just see the person and be like, hear their name and be like, everything they do is righteous. It, it's time out for y'all niggas. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You cannot, you're not going to go unscathed fucking with me. I told you what my ancestors had me doing. They had me exposing the toxic masculinity. So if you just happen to be a dick rider, one of these niggas, and you don't like the fact that I'm exposing them, then get the fuck on. We're talking about, we're not talking about people with less followings or just people that's on here just talking without any type of knowledge or understanding or anything. We're talking about people that have thousands and thousands of followers that hold on to every word of these people that are leading them astray. But to get on fucking live and to get on a social media platform just to dog out goddesses. You don't have no nigga in that motherfucking house. You better be that nigga a ghost, just like all your motherfucking ex-husbands die, bitch. Bah. You know, you. I'm sure you've been following us, listening to us, or whatever the case may be. You heard us say that we were gonna back off and we just gonna be done with it, right? But then you came out and you came on platform on YouTube and you dogged and dragged Bree for filth. Why Why would you even do that? What is business of it is yours anyway? Why? You why mean speak you on the way Brianna was treating her children? You, yeah. What, you mean why would I speak on the way Brianna was treating her children? Yeah, why speak on the way Brianna treating her children when her brother don't have nothing to do with his kids? Because she was mistreating her children. How Can I not do that? Treating her children. How is I explained that in that video. And what that business? Now? You explain what you explain is not mistreatment of her children, and you know that. You know what that you explain is not mistreatment out. of my wives, and you know that, right? You don't wives. So let's get to the real questions, love. More than one wife. Let's get to the real question. Illegal. First of all, you have a wife and a girlfriend that's pregnant that that lives with you. Okay, let's just keep it one hundred because the so law. You so do you have questions have for me, or do you want to talk about my lifestyle? Well, we're gonna talk about it all up in here. We're gonna talk about it all. How about that? So now, so you don't have questions question, for me, do business, you? What business? What business is it of yours to jump in what Brianna got going on in the first place? She's not with your brother no more. So why do you care about what she does on her daily life? Why are you stalking her? If you if you're in your emotion by something that don't affect you, you Correct. got that hole in you. Right. Because that's typically women. Women are in their emotion by things that don't affect them. So, you do, so do you have questions for me or do you want to talk about my lifestyle? Well, we're going to talk about it all. Up in here, we're going to talk about it all. How about that? So now, so you don't have question, questions for what me, do business, you? What business is it of yours to jump in what Brianna got going on in the first place? She's not with your brother no more. So why do you care about what she does on her daily life? Why are you stalking her? She affects me. Her life affects me. The how things that she her does. Life, her decisions. Your, her, can I, can I get my words out, ma'am? If you ask me a question, do you want the answer or you just go over talk? Okay, you said she affects you. How does she affect you? She talks directly about me. I'm still playing the victim and you still playing to pick me. It's so embarrassing. She sends you guys to terrorize my pages and you know it. You send Lacey messages, that is not you guys true. send Jamie messages. If you if you're in your emotion by something that don't affect you, you Correct. got that hole in you. Right. Because that's typically women. Women are in their emotion by things that don't affect them. Y'all don't want no problems with me. I can see all y'all motherfuckers scared. So just leave it alone. Look at you. Look, look, listen to this leader. Listen to this leader. Age of Aquarius is hit. So apparently there's some people being shown to be who they are. Hence Brother Polite. Hence YP. Hence Soul Illuminati. Hence Rashad Jamal, these niggas, they, they showing y'all who the fuck they are. They can't do nothing but do that because the time is now for us to know who is the real and who is the fake. And if your ass can't decipher who the real and the fake, you fucked. You out here, you don't have, your third eye is calcified as a motherfucking nigga, period. Period. Calcified ass niggas.
calcified third eye ass niggas you can't even fucking decipher what's real and what's fake period y'all can't do it you niggas is just box box you need somebody to control you you need somebody to tell you what to think you need somebody to tell you how to act you need somebody to tell you how to move you need somebody to tell you how to connect with your ancestors because you ain't even got the natural innately energy to know how to connect with your own ancestors should nobody have to tell y'all how to connect with your own ancestors should nobody have to tell you that that's your family members call us did wesley uh did kevin wesley get his stomach removed because he has a hormonal imbalance problem the chemistry in his brain is can be very unstable and he's very paranoid and think people are trying to set him up and I to get him and he's very feminine in his thinking and his ways is not always logical critical thinking the way he thinks and the way he responds but then he tried to he tries to hide that feminine behavior a certain way you might see him moving I can see that inner sissy in him that he need to let her come out he really need to let her shine because a lot of these women, so you have to watch men that have women around, they just use them and hurt them and dog them. Either they don't like women because they feel like women have seduced them or tricked them in the past and you remind them of it and they want to take attractive women and use them and abuse them and laugh about it and let their friends see them doing it to make them feel better. Or they secretly feel like a woman they self and they also bisexual. I like to mess with men. What you said, sick man, college, that was his brother, Latruf. Yeah, Latruf had his move, but I wonder, did he have this issue too? Because his mother is all up in his business. Before I got on here and I started looking at this, I saw his mother, and the mother started just coming to me, shaking her head like she was tears was rolling down her face. This guy is in judgment. The, or somebody they put him on blast or somebody finna do it said smoking a blunt thank you Cam G it's some else he smoke I think he popped them pill do that ayahuasca or that molly or that goddamn meth mixed together and some else he taking besides just smoking some marijuana where he go way out in his mind and he does this with men's we might get high with women, but he he feel comfortable with his bros. You know, his brodies. You know, they can ride and whatever I do in here, stay in here. Whatever I say, stay in here. You know, so what if we have a bitch in here and she fuck us and suck us off and we suck each other? You know, I fuck you in the ass. You might hit me off in the ass. I ain't gonna tell nobody because that's just how my bros is, you know. But these women, see, I some of them I can do that with. There's a lot of nasty women that will do shit like that. Black women that will do shit like that, too. They ain't spiritual like you think. And I won't do this and I won't do that. And the black woman ain't gonna do You a goddamn lie. A lot of black women like to fuck they nigga with a tranny. I like to see them get turned out because they feel like that's a form of weakness and they can control them and then keep that shit over them because they know every woman ain't gonna do that shit but a lot of black women will nasty as fuck and black women are passing that virus around and they lay up with each other and take their prep medication and other other medication without no condom knowing they got that shit and knowing it mutates and breaks off speaking of that i'm looking at his blood and what concerns me about his blood is that there is a different tag on his blood. I'm not saying this man has any disease or any virus, but there's a tag. It's lighting up and it's green. There's a tag in his blood. And when I say tag, because Nipsey has been teaching me this the past couple of days, and I'm gonna get into that later on when I bring to you about this new strain that's broke out and these people getting sick and wearing a mask again. It's someone, for some reason, a man's blood is in this man's body. It's in Kevin Wesley's body. There's a man's blood, which means his DNA is in your body. Hey, check this out, Lacey. And I want to speak, I want to say this from the bottom of my heart right here. I'm not sure what's going on with your child, but I think you should pay attention to signs of the universe. When you have women out here speaking to you, 
through the universe. And they're telling you things like this guy isn't a good luck charm for you. He's not a good luck charm for our community. He's a liar. And he's doing a lot of things behind people's backs. You should pay attention to the universe when the universe is speaking to you. And I'm just going to say this. I'm not sure what's wrong with your child. But I'll say this. Pay attention to signs of the universe. And there's prayers going up for you and your child. One thing I know for sure. If I was to believe in a devil... The devil doesn't care about your child. Only you do. And in time, you'll find that out. You punish innocent people through their fears and ignorance. As for minding my own business, that is just what I'm doing when I force you to tell how you control people through their own minds. My business, if it can be called a business, is helping to unlock the doors of the self-made prisons in which men and women are confined because of the fears you have planted in their minds. My greatest weapon over human beings consists of two secret principles by which I gain control of their minds. I will speak first of the principle of habit, through which I silently enter the minds of people. By operating through this principle, I establish, I wish I could avoid using this word, the habit of drifting. When a person begins to drift on any subject, he is headed straight toward the gates of what you earthbound call hell. Describe all the ways in which you induce people to drift. Define the word and tell us exactly what you mean by it. I can best define the word drift by saying that people who think for themselves never drift, while those who do little or no thinking for themselves are drifters. A drifter is one who permits himself to be influenced and controlled by circumstances outside of his own mind. He would rather let me occupy his mind and do his thinking than go to the trouble of thinking for himself. He doesn't know what he wants from life and spends all of his time getting just that. A drifter has lots of opinions, but they are not his own. Most of them are supplied by me. A drifter is one who is too lazy mentally to use his own brain. That is the reason I can take control of people's thinking and plant my own ideas in their minds. I think I understand what a drifter is. Tell me the exact habits of people by which you induce them to drift through life. Start by telling me when and how you first gain control of a person's mind. My control over the mind of a human being is obtained while the person is young. So that makes me wonder. Either you were dealing with a woman that's dealing with another man that has some type of abnormality in the blood or tagged for, let's say, sickle cell, cancer, uh, something else that the blood is tagged for based on genetics or what they were exposed to. There is a light lighting up in it. You had sex with a woman that had sex with a man that transferred that to you through her, but it feels more like you were in direct contact with a man that has tags in his blood and they're also satanic tags that you're walking around with. He has a spirit on him that's been placed on him by engaging in some type of inappropriate, I don't want to say inappropriate because it's not inappropriate for everybody to be gay and bisexual. I respect gay people and bisexual people that are honest with me and that are honest with all their sex partners. Look, I'm gay. Look, I'm bisexual. I'm a man and I like women, but sometimes I like to get, I like to suck off men's or whatever. I can respect that. You're not being inappropriate. You're being very honest and you're not tricking people that don't like that. So either they fuck with it or they don't. That's a good question. Blood donor? No. I don't, because that means he would have to have received blood from a donor. Okay. I don't see that he got it from, Kevin Winston got it from receiving blood from a donor. He received some mushroom tip. That's what I'm getting. He received, and you know, in sperm, there's a small, minute, there are particles of blood. Or it could be ejaculating, the person don't know it. Now, again, this is allegedly in the spirit. I don't know why I'm getting this off this man. 
But this man is questionable. And his behavior. So, no. That's not what the spirit said. That's not what his mother said. That he went to the doctor and needed a blood transfusion. I'm not seeing that's how he got another man's tag of DNA that is lighting up in his bloodstream. I do not see that he needed an, an emergency blood transfusion. No, it was a mushroom tip and you know, from Alibaba, God damn it. I'm gone. You know, like I said, this is a spiritual reading for entertainment purposes only. I'm not guaranteeing any of this. I don't know these people. But this is what his mother came here and said, who's on the other side, and she's very upset. She's in the balance. She has not left the earth plane, so I wonder if his mother physically died, how long she's been physically dead. If somebody can find the information, see her name, picture, something, send it to me. Because I don't know why I keep getting it's his mother. She says she's his mother, and said that he's always been conflicted and a liar when he was a goddamn, he was a little liar. He was a little boy, a mini liar, goddamn it, conflicted and criminal. And his ways are real sensitive. Not sensitive, sensitive, oversensitive, and take make a mountain out of a goddamn mole here unless they sit down here. I don't I don't know anything I said is true. I do know that he started shit and he's tied up his shit right now. I know that. I know he got two women that he fucking over. And this pregnant one I feel sorry for. Cause he ain't gonna be too much. I don't, why would she have a child by him? I don't know. Where's somebody pregnant around him? I just, I just don't know their name. But I see it up under him with this other lover, older woman. Huh? It's not her blood. It's not the, uh, it's not the other wife's blood. This is a man's blood that played a game with him. And I feel like it's Dwight. I feel like it's the basketball player because he is demonic as hell. 